Back to the breaking news. A shooting right now on the northeast side at Walsham and Windsor Oaks where multiple people have been shot. And some of those victims we're learning tonight are children. Ken's 5 reporter Hannah Tita just spoke with the sheriff. Hannah, what are you learning? ECS Henry, a heartbreaking update from the sheriff just moments ago. We're told a drive by shooting on the northeast side has left five people in the hospital tonight. Three of those children between the ages of four and 10 years old. Right now we're just off of Eisenhower Road, just east of 410. And uh, what the sheriff is telling us right now is that about 745 this evening, gunshots rang out in this northeast neighborhood in the 6700 block of Windsor Hollow drive. We're told that uh, preliminary information is that two people got out of a gray vehicle with uh, long guns and they went to the front of a home and started spraying bullets into that home. The sheriff doesn't know exactly where the family was located inside of that home, but he did say that every single person that was in the home at that time was severely injured. And he tells us right now that he believes it was a targeted attack against this family and tells us that the two people he believes they knew that there were children inside of that home tonight. He says that if uh, any of the children pass away, this could turn into a capital murder case. So we're still waiting to find out on the conditions of those victims. But again, five victims hospitalized from a drive by shooting two suspects on the loose tonight. Detectives do believe that they know who these suspects are. They say that they have some text messages and they're just trying to track down those two people involved in this shooting. But there are two suspects on the loose and police say five victims in the hospital that are in critical condition. We will continue to follow updates on air and online. But for now, reporting live off of Eisenhower near 410, Hannah Tita, Ken's 5.